Hey guys, I'm back. Yes, with a new Dollar Tree Hall DVD pickup. And I went out yesterday and I went out today. And I actually found some couple a few Blu-rays and some DVD most of them were DVDs. Some of them um they're kind of scary, you know, but um Dollar Tree right now, they they don't really have a lot of horror movies and the horror movies that they have or sci-fi movies that they have I already own in my collection. But I wanted to show you my new Dollar Tree pickups, okay? Because basically I, I wanted to try to keep it in horror and, and, and you know, in the horror genre because that's basically what my channel is about. But I also just want to show you what I picked up from Dollar Tree. You know what I mean? Because um, they did have some pretty decent movies, I have to say. You know what I mean? That I'm going to check out that are I think that are worth checking out. So let's get right into it. I think I got about 15 you know, which isn't, which isn't bad, you know what I mean? But I did go out, guys, and I did try to find more horror movies, and unfortunately, um, it wasn't that great. I think some of the ones I got are kind of like a sci-fi type horror movies, you know, but I will show you here in a minute. Um, but welcome back to the channel, guys, so let's get started. Now, the first one I got is actually, uh, from the Dollar Tree, is a, um, it is a Blu-ray uh, combo pack. Uh, one of the movies I already have, but I wanted to have uh, this combo pack because it has one of my favorite actors in it, which is Wesley Snipes. So the first one here is called um, uh, The Recall. Recall? And another movie he's in, Wesley Snipes, called Nine Lives. So I picked that up at the Dollar Tree. So that's really cool. If anybody's interested in, in this uh, recall here, if I'm saying it right, I have it on Blu-ray. So if anybody would like to do a trade, uh, let me know in the comment sections below, and I'll gladly trade it to you. I have that in the Blu-ray. So I picked this up, which was really cool, and I'm like, wow, I can't pass it up for a buck twenty-five, you know, from a buck twenty-five Dollar Tree store. <laughs> so I guess we got to start start calling it that. But yeah, I'm glad to add this into the Blu-ray collection because it's uh, two of them, and I never seen the uh, movie Nine Lives, and I have mostly, I have a lot, I have most of Wesley Snipes' movies. I like like him as an actor, especially the Blade movies. I have all the Blade movies and uh he was he I like him the most in, in those movies and his action flicks. But Blade really got me uh really getting really into Wesley Snipes. So that's one I picked up that combo pack. So glad to add this into the collection. Now the next one is another Blu-ray um it's a DVD Blu-ray DVD combo pack and this is actually Something different from an old rock group that made great music and they still uh, play their music today. And some of the members are still uh, actually, I guess, making music. And that is looking for uh, Lennon from uh, John Lennon from, um, you know, the Beatles. So I picked this up, man. So I'm going to check it out. It looks pretty interesting. And uh, I picked that up at Dollar Tree. I've never seen this there before. Maybe it's a documentary about John Lennon. You know, and the Beatles and Yoko Ono. But I picked it up, and uh, it looks like it's going to be pretty good. I'm actually going to watch it sometime this week. But, yeah, I picked this up at the Dollar Tree. It just looked interesting, and I want to definitely um, check this out, man. It looks like it's going to be very good. So, yeah, that's uh, looking uh, looking for John, uh, for Lennon, John Lennon. So, and you, as you know, he was a very awesome uh, rock singer back in the days. And the Beatles are just... Um, you know, the Beatles were a, a huge rock group back in the olden days, you know what I mean? And their music still plays on today, so we're going to check that out later. Now, the next Blu-ray I got is kind of a, I don't want to say anime. Uh, it just looked, it looked interesting. I, I just wanted to pick it up. It's a, it's a Blu-ray DVD combo pack, and it's called uh, the Steam, the Steam Engin Engineers or Engines of Oz. Uh, this looks pretty cool. Cool. It looks pretty cool, like a uh, I don't know, kind of like here's here's the cover. Uh, I guess kind of like in the realms of like um, what's it called? Uh, I can't think of it. Like the, the the animations of like the movie Up and different um, ones like that, like Pixar kind of uh, you know uh, Pixar kind of like. Um, you know, special effects and like animation, like a Pixar's animations and different things like that. But 
it looks like it might be uh, uh, pretty interesting and it looks like it might be pretty cool because I like some of those types of uh, movies. So I wanted to pick it up and, and give it a try. It looks like it'd be a really uh, cool, uh, you know, and uh, movie to watch, guys. So yeah, I got that one also from the, the dollar twenty-five store. <laughs> now the next one we got here. Um, some people have picked this up. I was glad this. I was glad that I actually picked this up, guys, because it looked very, very interesting. I've seen other people pick it up in their Dollar Tree pickups, and it is. Um, it has Tony Todd in it. It's the limited edition, and I think it's called. I can't see it here. Uh, it's like on a dark cover. I can't really see the name of it very well. My eyes are not that great. But it, here it is. This is this is what it looks like, guys. And uh, here's the front of it. It's real dark. Maybe it's me. But it has Tony Todd in it. And I can't wait to uh, check this out, guys. They only had uh, one copy of it on DVD. So I had to snatch it up, man. Because the, the one Dollar Tree I went to was the same stuff over again. Except it was a little... A little bit of like crinkles of like DVDs that they put in there. I don't know if they had a big haul and people already picked through it and got most of it, but uh, this looked very interesting. So it has Tony Todd, as you know, the, the guy that plays Candyman. So uh, this looks like it'll be uh, a pretty good movie. I'll have to check it out and see, man. You know, but yeah, I like the uh, cover of this also. So this looks uh, pretty good. If anybody knows anything about this in the comment sections, let me let me know, guys. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy to add this to the uh, DVD collection. Now this is another one that looked pretty good. It is called um, it is called Vietnam took everything he had. Uh, it's called Battle Scars, and it says now uh, he will take something back. So this looks like a really good action flick from what I can see, but I picked that up from the Dollar Tree. I like some action flicks, you know what I mean? But uh, it looks like it might be pretty decent. So I wanted to pick it up. If anybody uh, knows anything about this movie and DVD, uh, let me know in the comment sections below. But it just looks interesting. It looks like it'll be a good action-packed uh, movie. So, uh, yeah, I have to check this out, man. It looks like it'll be pretty good. This is another one, another one that looked like it'll be pretty good, guys. That's called um, American Marty, Marty Artie or something like that. Uh, her calling is destruction. So uh, this looks like it's pretty good. Looks like she's going around and like burning stuff up, you know. It says an uh, anti, <laughs> an anti right. Christian terrorist in the United States uh, claims to hear uh, the voices of God commanding her to attack federal buildings. So <laughs> that that just sounds interesting. So I can't wait to uh, check this movie out. She got that she got that crazy look in her face, guys. So yeah, I can't wait. Uh, uh, can't wait to, to check this out. But uh, it looks like it'll be pretty like a pretty. A good movie so uh hopefully it is but yeah i picked that up at the dollar tree man it just sounded good you know what i mean so hopefully it is good if you guys have this and seen it let me know now i did pick up a cool anime i'm not really that much into anime but um i think this is called Ko uh, kaijo i think it's called kaijo if i'm saying it right but it looks like a cool anime, guys. That's why I picked it up because I'm not that much into animes. It is a it is a shout video, so I did pick this up. But that's it right there. So I'm going to uh, check this out. Also, it looked like it might be a cool animated like movie. Uh, uh, it says uh, "Darkness of Heart." So uh, yeah, it's rise and rise of the dual masters. So I've never heard of this. But it looks like it might be pretty good. If you guys heard of it, let me know. But yeah, I wanted to pick it up. I like the artwork and cover on it with the beast down there fighting. So uh, I'm going to try it out, man. Maybe it'll be uh, pretty good. Now, these are a couple of uh, ones I picked up that look pretty cool. These look like sci-fi thrillers. You know, it's a uh, combo pack. Includes two bonus movies. 
This is called um, this is called uh, in control, and this looks like this might be pretty decent. The other movies that are on here are um, Hologram Man and the si I think it's called the Silencer. So that's it right there, guys. That's the cover. So that was cool. It's always good to pick up these DVDs that have like the two extra movies on it. That's why it's definitely worth the, the price. So I found that at another Dollar Tree. So hopefully this one might be pretty good. This is definitely up my alley. So um, I'm going to check it out, man, uh, probably sometime this week. It has a slip cover with it, which is really cool. So that's what it has the two bonus on there. And it uh, looks like it might be a pretty good sci-fi, like horror thriller movies so that's cool the next one i also picked up is kind of like the same thing this one is called remote viewing and uh it has two bonus movies on there that includes uh the uh the veil the evil or the evil phantom from space is on this so i'm going to check this one out i like the slip cover art on there that looks pretty cool pretty awesome so I'm going to check this one out too, guys. So was lucky to get these because this is the Dollar Tree I went to that I don't really go to in one part of town in PA because I don't really get to get down there. From what they had up front by the registers, it was kind of hard to look at the DVDs because people were getting pissed off because I was in front of the, D the uh, registers because they put them right on those end caps and they get mad and I had to keep telling them I'm, I'm not buying nothing. I'm trying to look at movies. You can just go ahead you know, in front of me. But this was one of them, and this looks like this might be uh, pretty good. So I'm going to definitely check that one out. Now, here's another one here um, that looks pretty good. It's called uh, The Nightingale. This looks like it might pre be pretty decent. You know what I mean? So it looks like it might be a uh, just, it might be like a, a horror, like a kind of, a kind of like a horror flick. You know what I mean? Um, it looks like it might be uh, pretty good. Uh, yeah, but I'm going to check it out. If you guys heard anything about it, uh, let me know, guys. Um, it's just different. It says, her song will not be silenced. So that's it right there. So I'm going to check this one out, guys. If you guys know anything about this DVD, let me know. It looks like it's, a, I guess, like a horror, like... Or it might be another thriller, you know, uh, movie. So let me know in the comments below, guys. Now, this is another one here, too. Um, this is called, um, I think it's uh, Stocked. I think it's Stocked, if I'm saying it right. Uh, the Hunter has become the Hunter. <laughs> so it has uh, Rebecca Rogers in it. So this looked like this might be pretty good. My English is bad today, guys. I can't even get out the names of some of these movies. Uh, my English is so off today. But this has a pretty cool cover on the front, so I, I picked that up. This looks pretty interesting, too. This looks like this might be like a, a thriller, like hack and slash. Um, a game of cat and mouse has never been so deadly. So this looked like this might be pretty good. So I'm going to definitely check this one out too. That's another one I picked up at the Dollar Tree. Now this one has a gentleman that is no longer here with us. He passed away, I think, a year or two ago. He was really known in movies like with Sylvester Stallone called Zeus and other movies that were funny like uh, Friday, next Friday, you know. And Friday movies, and he was in other movies also. Uh, it is um, a good guy named uh, uh, Tony Lester Jr. You know he passed away, and um, uh, he he was you remember him as Debo in Friday. But I've never seen this before. It says on the court, and it says an underdog story, and this has him in it. Tiny uh, Tiny's in this movie. And it looks, it looks like it might be pretty cool. You know what I mean? And I wanted to pick it up because I don't have a lot of his uh, of movies with uh, Tiny in it. You know, it's by Maverick. But I picked this up, man. And there he is on the front. You know, he, he's very well known. He, he really got his debut in, in um, the, uh, when he was Zeus and in the, in the uh, movie with um, 
Sylvester Stallone. I can't remember the name of the movie. I don't know if it was called Over the Top. I can't remember the name of the movie. And I believe it was Sylvester Stallone. And uh, that's where he got his name, Zeus. You know what I mean? So, Or is it, it might be Honk Hogan. One of those guys. I, I can't remember. Uh, guys, let me know in the comment section below because I haven't seen that movie since I was younger, a kid, like my teenage years. But he was known as Zeus and went on to do great movies like Friday and different things like that. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I was happy to have this. I wanted to have this in my collection. So hopefully uh, it'll be pretty decent, man, with Tiny in there. You know, rest in peace to uh, Mr. Tiny there. So the next one I got here has Mario Van Peoples in it. It's called A Clear Shot. This looks like it would be a cool action flick. You know, Mario Van Peoples, he did. He does all kind of movies. He's in all kind of movies. You know what I mean? He does like sci-fi kind of movies. I think he was in um, an Outer Limits episode. You know what I mean? But this, uh, this, uh, this DVD cover is pretty cool. But it is Mario Van Peoples, A Clear Shot. So I picked that one up. That looks like that might be pretty decent. If you guys have seen this or heard of it, uh, let me know in the comments sections below. But it looks like it might be a really good movie, man, from what I can see on the back of it. It looks like it might be pretty decent. So Now, this movie I believe I've seen a long time ago. I can't remember if it was on, on uh, the Fire Stick or it was on like HBO, one of them. But this one is called, um, I think it's called uh, Fronters or Front. Front fronters, it uh, it's drugs war, uh, uh, drugs war have no boundaries. I believe I seen this, and it was a really goddamn good movie. It has a nice slip cover on it, so I also picked that up at the Dollar Tree. So hopefully this is pretty pretty decent, man. Uh, if I remember, if it's the same movie then I know it's going to be pretty good because I, I liked it, the movie. The ending was like pretty kind of like uh, jaw-dropping, kind of like a little bit sad, you know, if this is that same movie. But I picked this up with this cool slipcover from there. So hopefully this is a pretty decent movie. Now, the last one I got here, she has also passed away. I got a collection of her. People know her. Uh... She was on The Golden Girl. She was on Mama's Family. She's done all kind of stuff, man. And that is Betty White. Yes, Betty White, A Date with uh, an Angels, with Angels Collection. Now, I have the other one downstairs uh, of her collection of movies and stuff that she did. It says 20 hilarious episodes on two DVDs. But I had to get it, man, because Betty White is, uh, <laughs> Betty White was really funny in The Golden Girls. And she was very funny in Mama's Family. You know, that's one of one of the old school sitcoms I used to watch as a as a child. You know what I mean? And uh, she was just very funny and, and very lovable. Man, a lot of people are gonna are, are missing Betty White already. She was an animal lover. You know what I mean? And she just done great great movies and she did great uh, sitcoms like The Golden Girls and like Mama's Family. So I had to pick it up. That's actually a nice picture of uh, Miss Betty White on there. Uh, may she rest in peace. But that is all I got today, guys. I'm sorry it wasn't a lot of horror movies because, like I said, they're either ones I already have or people are, might already pick through stuff I might have missed, you know. But let's try, you know, for next month. You know what I mean? I'm going to probably start uh, next month looking for move more Dollar Tree horror movies and Dollar Tree movies in general, like sci-fi, maybe a couple good action flicks, but I'm trying to focus more on these the sci-fi and the horror. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Um, give it a thumbs up uh, if you like the video. And uh, I got some new subscribers, man. I'm really thankful for that. You know what I mean? And uh, it's awesome to get some more subscribers to subscribe to my uh, Tony's House of Horror channel. You know, um, it's it makes me feel good, man, and I really appreciate you guys uh, subscribing. And remember, I always always subscribe back. All right, guys. So uh, happy hunting, guys, for dollar dollar twenty five uh, DVD. You know, horror, whatever you collect for. Happy hunting, guys, and hopefully we'll get lucky next month with some great new titles that are coming to the buck twenty five store. All right, guys. Have a good week, and I'll see you later. Peace.